Welcome back everyone, Grogen here, and we are going to set off and spend our first day as a pirate. We have got a quest down the bottom there called Your First Day as a Pirate. So, that's where we're heading. We are leaving Booty Bay. It looks like we are pretty much done with all the Stranglethorn Vale quests. And then we will see where, where it leads us. I've got no idea, honestly. I don't know where we're going to go next. We could take the boat across and go and see where it's telling us to go on that side. I don't I can't remember. Does the boat there take us to the Barrens or does it take us somewhere else? But first things first, thank you everyone for coming back. It really does mean a lot. Hope you have been enjoying the series so far. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you've been watching. It really does help a lot. And hit the thumbs up as well. It helps massively with the video videos getting shared out. So we are heading down. We've got 600 yards to go. And then it looks like we're going to be going onto them boats. So we're going to have to swim across. And we're going to, I don't know whether we're going to be friendly with some pirates. Bring your papers to Captain Keelhall is what it tells us to do. Oh. Yeah, I don't think we've got anything on us that we need. Oh, there's our papers. There's our papers. Certifies you as a blood sail pirate. So we tricked that guy, didn't we, by the waterfall. We took him a cow's head and a pirate hat. And we pretended that we were on his side. But really, we're trying to figure out what he's up to. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go and infiltrate the pirates. And then we're going to see where life takes us. So we're not really gaining anything from doing the quest here. Because all the players, all the mobs that were fighting... Like level 30. And we're 35. So we're not getting any XP. But look at this. They're all friendly to us now. They weren't before. So we're going to go up. Onto this boat on our right. Try not walk the plank without falling off. And it looks like. Is it the guy? At the, no, someone underneath. You've got to go downstairs into the boat. And it looks like they're in this back room down here. Captain Keelhall. How are you doing? Your papers. Yes, yes, I see. Well, everything appears to be in order. Slayer of the Great Seahorn, eh? That doesn't matter on my ship. Only thing you're going to be slaying is deck stains. Grab a mop. Okay. <laughs> Pick up a swappy's mop and mop the deck of the riptide. Then keep the deck clean for two minutes. Really? We're really going to have to mop the floor? <laughs> well, life of a pirate, I guess. So we need to go and take a mop off someone. Oh, there's pretty boy Duncan as well. We're going to go and see you. Uh, cannonball swim. Obtain six blood sail cannonballs from the water beneath the riptide. Okay, but before that, we're going to go and mop the floor. you got to buy it for the gold as well. Jesus. This is humiliating. Are we making him do it? Are we making him mop the floor? We must be. Right, there's another quest up there as well. Let's go and grab it. It looks like we've actually completed that other quest too, so we're going to go and hand that in. Obtain five bushels of limes. Five bushels of limes. We're going to change our order back to the retribution one. And we're going to run down here and hand that quest back in. Since we didn't actually mop the floor, we just tricked someone else into doing it. <laughs> it's just funny. Right, kill hole. We're going to get something that's rubbish. Nothing else for us. Okay, we're going to go and get some cannonballs out the water. And then we're going to collect some lime. Some lime. Right, so the water things... Right, that's the bushels of limes, and that's the blood sail cannibals. So we are heading. There's going to be something in this water to kill us, isn't there? I can see one. I can see one already. Jump! Is that one over there too? Or did... Yeah, it's another cannibal. Oh, we have got to battle sharks. Well, the sharks aren't really going to do much to us, are they? Can we just kill you? There you go. <laughs> we killed a shark in one hit. Right, there's our first cannibal. And see what the sharks got for us. Nothing. Just a mangled flipper. So this is a bit slow going. It's going to take us a bit of a while to swim around. But it's okay. What else are we here for? Right. Grab this one. That's two. There's two more over there. That looks like there's some rubbish on the floor as well. Might as well kill him. Just to get him out the way. I could imagine this would be a bit of a... It'd take a while if you've got to kill the sharks as well. And you've got to get up to breathe and, you know, kill you or loot you. What was that noise? <laughs> right, that's this one. This will be our fourth one. And then we just need two more. I know there was another one back this way. We'll swim over there. Our breath might last us for this whole quest, which is good. Takes a bit of time swimming to the top and back down. Right, there's one here, but I didn't see any more on this side. So we might have to go over... A bit further away. 
I wonder if that'll even see us because we're so much higher level than them. Don't think so. I'm out of range. No, you're not. You can get it. Right, there's another one there. And then we just got to go across to the other side. Where are we? Oh, we're all the way down there. And then we got to go to the other side and get the limes. Right, there it is there. Are the limes on that side? Yeah. Okay, so this is on our way. We go and grab that one and then carry on swimming. We go to the surface and swim across. Just oh, one of the dogs just crawled under my legs. <laughs> but this is the little one. That's um, enemy way. This is the little one. This is Rocco. This was my dad's dog. This was my dad's dog, but he has to live with us now because my dad's in a nursing home. So, yeah, he came to live with us. He doesn't like our dogs, but, you know, he's getting on okay. He's getting on okay. Right, let's go. Oh, we nearly drowned. We nearly drowned. Right, let's get up. Right, if we get the turtle, we should probably go a little bit quicker, right? But yeah, Rocco needs to get his hair cut soon. It's starting to get a little bit bushy. Right, there we go. There's a crate. Oh, hang on, Uzi. He's dead. <laughs> uh, right. So, the bushing thing. Uh, there's another one there. Right, if we do this, right, and someone spawns behind us. I was wondering if the rest of them were all going to turn on us, but no, it's okay, it's okay. So, oh, it's saying that way. It's saying they're mostly going to be this way. Let's get back across there. You seem to be by trees. Uh, no, where are we going? Wow, so that's the only little... Oh, no, there's loads over that side. Over on the shore. Okay, we're going to have to go across there. I didn't see that big blue patch on the other side. But we only need three more, so it's not going to take us too long. Okay, so I can see one by the boat. I can see another one over there. These are all friendly now as well, so it's, it's going to be nice. A lime thief. That's what he's called. Oh, we got some volatile rum. Should we have a drink? Strong alcoholic beverage. Right. We might as well drink it. Oh, that's made our screen go a little bit blurry. And we're running funny. We're running in circles. <laughs> Don't like that. Couldn't have done it. Dead men steal no limes. Well, I'm not the dead man. You are. Oh, there's a chest. Sturdy treasure chest. Let's get that. In there, we've got... Oh, a nice little ring. That was not really nice for us, but it's nice. Right, there's another chest. We'll kill you. The screen just spun around weird then. Oh, more rum. We've got to drink it, you know, if we're being a pirate. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Everything's going blurry. Right, we need to find some more of these boxes. Have we got them all, actually? I think we got them all. Right. we got an issue now. We've got to swim drunk. Let's try the turtle drunk instead. A turtle, can he walk in a straight line? He can't. Even he seems... Look, he's going down. Go up. Right, we want to stay in the water because he's faster in the water than he is on land, I think. Let's get back to the ship. I wonder how long this drunkenness lasts. What the hell? <laughs> we just... Look at him. He's all over the place. Right, we're going to try and see if our little spider's anywhere else. Oh, we've got to try and get up this little plank in this state. It's not going to be fun. Not going to be fun. We made it, though. We made it. Everyone's still blurry. So we got the cannonballs. We got 10 gold. And we're going to go down and see. Oh, no. The guy at the top. Push your limes. Right. Who's got a quest for us? It's the guy underneath again, by the looks of it. The, uh, the captain. There he is. There he is. Oh, can't run in a straight line. <laughs> Report to Fleet Master Ferallon with the Crimson Veil in the Cape of Stranglethorn. You get seven gold just for reporting to someone. These guys have got too much money. No wonder they want to be pirates. Right, where is he? Is he going to be on... He's on the other boat. We're still... Wobbling. Still wobbling a little bit. We've discovered the Crimson Veil and the person we're speaking to is under under the... Down below. Below decks is the words I'm looking for. 
Look at all these guards, people. Master Feralan. Can I help you for the Alliance? Right, so have you got a quest? No, someone has though. I don't know where it is. Oh, he's in there. Iron Patch. Practice using the cannon by hitting Smile and Timmy Sticks five times with cannons from all Blasty. Okay. We're going to go and learn to shoot the cannon. We can't even walk, sh walk straight. How are we going to shoot straight? Talk to me. Kill 15 ninjas on Jaguero Isle. Right, cannon. Oh. Did we miss? What's that one? Aim. Fire. Oh, I get it. Ready? Aim. Fire. Oh, we missed again. Ready? Aim. That's not even going to go near it. Okay, so we're, he's coming towards us. So, ready? Aim. Got to be quicker. Yes, we hit it with one. We hit it with one. Right, there's the next one. Quick, quick, quick. Yes. <laughs> We're getting good at this. Ready? Aim. Fire. There's three down. He's going up that way a little bit. So let's try it there. We're going to miss. Going to miss. Going to miss. Going to miss. Unless it hits the top on the way down. Oh. No. Try that one. Ready? Aim. Fire. That's close. That's close. Oh, and it was too far away. So, out there. It's going to be easier when it's coming towards us. I think that might be too short. It was. Try that one. Going to get a little bit closer, so we might be okay. Too soon, too soon. Oh, it was. Ready. Aim. Fire. Oh my god, that shooting is terrible. Ready, aim. What happened then? Right, we got the cannonball ready. We're aimed. We're aimed. Fire. How did that miss? Ready, aim. Fire. This is going to miss as well. It's going to go over. Oh, that's miles away. Look at that. It's hard to aim, you know. Yeah, we're going to wait for it to turn around a little bit. Try that one. I think we're missing. I think we're mi oh, we got it. We got it. That's all five times. Finally. I didn't like that quest, you know. I really didn't like that quest. It was boring. It was annoying. <laughs> hey, let's go and hand it in anyway. That was to you, wasn't it? Okay, so we got our practice in. Speak with the blood sail oarsman outside the Crimson Vale. Use the cannon to kill 75 Venture Co. oil workers. Oh, we got to kill 75 people. How bad is that? 75 people who might not have done anything wrong. But who have we got to report to? Not this guy, right? You got my no. attention. Alright, so... We've got to go and kill 15 ninjas. And we've got to go to the Venture Co. place. Right, where does it tell us to go? Drive by pirates. How do you know how to handle our cannons? It's time to hit some real targets. The venture company has found gold to the north of here. A rare type they call black gold. More like black spots if you ask me. We're going to take that gold. But first we need to get rid of those venture company goons. I've got an oarsman who will take you out there. Head off the ship down the gangplank and speak to him at the Isles north, Northern Shore. Okay. Go over there. Is it him? Blood sail oarsman, it is. Greetings. Let's see. Ahoy, matey. Hoist anchor. Trim the mansail. Batten down the hatches and set to sea. Today we scuttle the venture company's blasted contraptions and send them all to feed the fishes. Now, hop to it before I put the black spot on you. Have a good one. Well, it doesn't look like we can. We're going to get it ready. We're going really fast, you know. What have we got to hit? <laughs> what have we got to hit? We've got to kill them, right? But we're going too fast to do this. 
be on uh, they're on either side oh okay 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 hey fire have we killed a few there another bunch hey we're gonna get you lot up there sorry really sorry <laughs> hey hey we got 15 27 right that's all them Well, that was no good. That was no good. We've got to wait till we stop. Right, there's loads up there. Well, where are we stopping? Right, we are stopping up there, but it's a bit hard to see. Shoot. Right, we've got a bunch of you. A bunch of you. Right, there's some more there. It's hard to see from underwater. I suppose if we zoom out a little bit, we can see. Right, there's not many there. There's a bunch up there, though. Hey! Ah! Oh, God. What did I press? Oh, no. We're going back to shore. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I pressed number four. And it's making us go back. Well, that's a pain. All right, we're going to come back in a minute and we'll do it again. Okay, we got kicked off the boat. We're going to go and speak to you again. I need a boat. All right, come on. We're going to go and shoot them this time. We only need another 22, 32, 40, 32 of them. So that shouldn't take us too long. And we're just going to, if we stop in between here, there should be enough just on these two things to, to do what we're doing. There we go. There's one. Aim. Fire. Right, 20 more. Don't drive off yet. Oh, we're a little bit short. He, he moved. Right, how many is that? We need six more people. This should just be our next shot. Our next shot should do it. As long as you don't miss. As long as you don't miss. Right, there's them guys there. That's well more than six people up there. Right, ready? Aim. Fire. Here we go. We're done. Right, let's go back. Right, I want to jump off here actually I think I want to jump off by this here we go because we need to kill 15 ninjas on this island have we seen any ninjas on this island before we were here before and we didn't come across any but maybe they're just invisible I don't know I don't know let's run a bit quicker we don't need our retribution order at the minute because not on last like a, a minute does it what do the ninjas look like Apart from probably invisible. <laughs> right, do we need to do anything there? Oh, God. Oh, let's go on King King Mull. Oh, no, he's a quest guy. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's dead anyway. <laughs> right, I wanted to see if, the, if there was any specific things for these ninjas. I don't wear this patch because I've lost an eye. I wear it because the other eye is so strong. The normal one was just weighing it down. This eye is good for seeing all kinds of things like those masked hooligans that follow us around. Fleet Masker says that they've been spotted over on Jaguero Island. Once you get there, fire this gun and I'll... Okay. There's one. Oh, look at that. They're everywhere now. Got you. Got you. <laughs> Killing ninjas. That's the world coming to. And there's another dead one. They're not even like. Oh, I didn't realize he was with us. I just seen something blow up in front of us. What's that coming out the floor? Right, so how many more do we need? Another eight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We're getting there. Let's just, oops, let's just hide our bags. I'm out of we'll do that one and that one. Get a little bit quicker, right? Bit of wool. We got eleven of them. Twelve. Thirteen. 
two more. There they are. Two right there. We're just going to loot this guy and then we're going to run over to them too. There we go. We're done. We're done. We got another quest though. Our mortal enemies. Right. None of them are any good to us. Excellent work, Roger. The internal battle wages on, but we've tipped the scales in favour of the pirates today. For Alien, for Alan, we'll be happy to hear the news. You must choose a reward. 23, 48, that's worth. I should get back to the Crimson Vale. I see you there. Right, so we've got to go back down to the boats. We've got to swim across through the shark infested waters. I'm going to grab our little sea turtle. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Back on the ship, and we're going to go and speak to Iron Patch again. So, he's going to give us a shield, or what's that, a shoulder item? None of them are any good for us, so we'll take the shield, because it's worth a little bit more money. Right, back to Fleet Master for Alan. You need something. Report, your cap report to your captain's chambers with the damsel's luck in the Cape of Stranglethorn. The damsel's luck in the Cape of Stranglethorn. That looks like it's on the other ship. Maybe. So it's a pirate's life for us, for sure. So where is it? That one. That's this way. It is. That's on the other boat, isn't it? Is this going to be a, a hostile boat then? Can't be, right? Surely all the pirates are friends together. Let's jump a little bit. Get a bit quicker. We can get rid of you. Get rid of you. We don't need them. Shield of Vengeance. We have a shield that we can use on other people. I don't know. If we put that one on. That looks kind of cool. Like you know. Like we're encased in fire. Oof. <laughs> it blows up. But that can only be used every minute or so. So in this one. We're going to go and speak to. No one. We're just going to go and pick some paper up off the table. Okay, the brash eyed crew. Speak with Long John Cooper and Copper on the Damsel's Luck, enormous Sean Stocker on the Crimson Vale, and Whalen Mary on the Ripside. Sinking from within, sabotage the Barrel of Grog, the Barrel of Gunpowder, and the Crater Cannibals. I'm um, making mutiny. Accuse nine blood sail corsairs of mutiny and kill them. Okay. So we're causing a bit of trouble now. We're going to cause a bit of trouble. We're going to. These guys? It's not these guys, is it? No. Right, we've got to speak to someone now. Who was it? Doesn't look like it's anyone on this ship. You got to talk to? Got to sabotage something. Could it be under here? Uh, let's see. Long John Cooper is the brass size crew ready for the first battle. We spoke to him. Oh, it goes down more. You're a mutinous dog. We kill you. More rum. We're not drinking no more rum. <laughs> we're not. I need a target. Right, we're killing them all. I don't have a target. I need a target. Got more rum. Nudge the cork. Sabotage the grog. Oh, he's seeing us. <laughs> oh, he's just kicked us. He's just kicked. <laughs> Grazie kicking his head yet. Right, let's get back upstairs. We've done this boat. Whoops. Oh, no, where am I? We've done this boat. Let's get to the next one. We find the right way. Has he got a merlock on board? A sword vendor? I said, what's that one saying we got to do? Oh, we can accuse more blood sail people, right? But we're going to go and do that on one of the other boats because we've done this one. Because we've done this one. Which side's the boat on over there? Let me jump off the end of this so it's a bit less to walk. Oh, not like that. <laughs> right, sail. Oh, go oh, sail. Hey, we're over at the next ship. We're going to go down and do something in this one. We're going to sabotage something down here. We're going to tell these they're all bad and find out what we got to, if we got to speak to someone here. 
Right, Corsair. There uh, we yeah. are. He's dead. That guy there, the blood cell deck, and just stood there and watched us. <laughs> right. Pour water into the gunpowder. What can I, I don't do have for a you? target. See you later. That's the guy we got to stalk to. What can you tell me about these people? And we're going to call you a mutinous dog and kill you as well. What happens to him? We used to roam the seas. That damn King Grey means something. If it weren't for him, we wouldn't be. What, Wogan? Choose your reward. That one's worth more money. Right, that's that done. Oh, we got another one here. Oh, we've already done them. So we've got to speak with the whale and Mary Smith and sabotage the cannonball. So that's going to be on the other boat, the final boat. So we've got to find whale and Mary. There she is. There she is. Well met. You know the battle plan, right? There we go. That's that one done. These are all Wogan. Whale and Mary Smith. I don't know what she said. I was too busy looking at something else, but you know, it's okay. Right, there's the box of cannibals. Right, that's done as well. We have leveled up. We've got a talent point to spend. Uh, one point on this side. Now, less than a sacrifice. No. Right, we picked something of that, but it didn't go down, so maybe we've got to do one of these. Divine Storm heals you. Or Unbound Freedom. Less than the Freedom. I, I remember that used to come in handy. But we're going to go for... That one, I think. Right, so what do we got to do here? Oh, we got to go back to Booty Bay. Back to Booty Bay. Shame there's nowhere we can come from here to fly. So at the end of the last episode, I was contemplating on finishing this area before the video ended, right? And I'm glad I never, because it's already took us like another 35 minutes just to do this bit and that video was all, it, we were already recording oh well i was already recording for like two hours in that last one so i am glad that i didn't carry on and i came back to this episode well, right Bootsy bay low level here, right a pirate's life for you find baron Rivelage, Re revel gaz's battle of double run within booty bay down there oh shit. <laughs> Didn't mean that. Are you going to swim back out? There's that name thing down the bottom again. The one we got the loot off in the last episode. Right, we're going to go back where we just came from. I think... Oh, can we even get there from here? We can't. Gotta go up. But we're going back into the inn. And just up a floor, 31 yards. Must be on the other side, I think. There it is. Oh, we're nearly finished with Stranglethorn Vale. I don't know where we're heading next, because this is low level. We might go into Stormwind. Oh, what's happening there? Bring the double room to someone. That's completed. That's that guy upstairs, I guess. Oh, and it's all on fire. Why? All right. The Baron quickly empties his cup. Ah, much better, Grogan. Now let me get down to business. I believe that you and I have a town to save. There was someone else bouncing around then. Prepare for takeoff. Obtain Narek's hand bombs from the old Port Authority inside Booty Bay. And seek a Seahorn. Report to Fleetmaster Seahorn in Booty Bay. Right, so there's a quest down this way somewhere. Oh, there he is. Turn in the brash side. Kill brash side raiders. Ten of And the damsel. Bad luck. Kill eight blood sail corsairs in Booty Bay. Right, how many quests do we have here? We've got three. We need to get Narc's hand bombs, but we've got to kill loads of these guys. Right, there's one. This isn't what I was expecting to happen at the end of Booty Bay. Right, we're going to work our way around this side because... We know there's a quest down this end anyway, so. Why not? Why not? Right, there's four. 
I'm gonna be screwed when the um, <laughs> fight's not an attack. <laughs> oh, hang on. There's blood cell courses. Have we got to get onto that boat? If there's some bombs or something that we've got to find here. You're scared. You're scared. What are you scared for? I thought you were all like pirates and stuff. What are you doing down there? <laughs> Weird. Right, we're looking for a stash of bombs. Have you got one? There we go. Narex hands bombs completed. Right, there's another raider. We need like a bunch of them corsairs, but I think they must be on the boat. This is so loud. Hey, right, we're gonna go up that way. I wonder if this is why we didn't see anyone because um can we get up there? Oh no we can't. <laughs> it was weird to try. Right, do we need to shoot off anything on this one? I heard that this ship is damn as luck. Didn't you, didn't you used to be the captain of that thing? You must know your way around it then. The brash hides are our main concern, but we still don't want to take an unnecessary pummeling from those cannons and grab the, the, uh, grab the rope behind me and take out some of those. Oh. What are you two doing? So there was a rope up there and we had to swing across. Missed that, didn't I? <laughs> Now we're just gonna run a little bit and we're just gonna do this. I got when he said grab the oh that rope. God's sake, leave me alone, you and you. Gonna target you. I can't click him. It doesn't matter, he's dead. And there we go, off we go. We're gonna go and kill eight of these guys. These are gonna be so simple. He hit us before we even landed, and we just sliced him. It's just six more. There's another one. Three left. Just three. Booty Bay is under siege. Well and truly. Get more room off the pirates. He didn't even see us coming. Hey, right, we are done. But someone else wants to have a go. And he's gone as well. And right, let's get back out. Hey, right, click on that rope and I think we swing across. I don't know what it was tied to. Oh, it's gone in the mast. Put out them fires, he's saying. No, well, we can't put out the fires. We, we might have to, but we haven't been told to yet, so we're not doing it. Oh, it's gone quiet. Keep your nose clean, right, let's see. We can do you. Do you. This one. And it's the final voyage. Why is there two of them? <laughs> Speak quick, Kabok. A booty bay even board the bold wind rider. Then use hand bombs to kill 85 crewmen and destroy six, six attack boats. Alright, so we can get a ring or a, a mace. So where's the boat? And the far end, I guess. I wonder if any of these are going to follow us. Probably. I bet you I'm going the wrong way, yeah. Did they tell me to speak to someone? Speak with Kaboch. Where's Kaboch? That's good as low. Okay, we've got to find Kaboch. I don't know where he is. How are you? There's a little target, dummy boat. <laughs> what happened to them? <laughs> Oh, was Kabok the one who just gave us the quest? I don't think it was. I'm going to go and find him, though. Look 
can't select them up there. No, that's Baron Rivel. Someone. Was it down this way then? We've got to find Kabok. Right there, bankers. That's auctioneer. Does it tell us where he is? Let's be quick. Kabok in Booty Bay. And board. To board the bold wind rider. Oh, a bold wind rider. He's. I was thinking it was a boat. It's not. We're going to fly. But we still have to find Kabok. Maybe up this way. I don't know whether he's our wind rider or the hard one. Right, that's the sea or that's rival someone or other. We're going to run through the fire. Kabok, there he is. Cowering in the corner. Sorry, you're not here to chat. I need a wind rider to take on a special mission. So we got hand bombs. Just number one is all we need. I'm going to drop you. Drop you. Oh, he stopped then. <laughs> so we got to do some boats. There's one. Ah, oh, we hit the, the master's dead. Do two boats at once there. Yes. <laughs> hey, we've only got to do one more boat and a load more people. It's nearly everyone, this. We're destroying them all. Just a few extra, just because. Right, that's done. That's done. Let's head back. Did we foil the attack on Booty Bay? It looks all quiet. It looks all quiet now. Crash tide and blood sail be damned. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Spoke too soon there. But we destroyed loads of them. The final voyage. Right, we're going to say that one. Speak with Kabok and Booty Bay and get a wind rider and then kill Fleet Masker for Alan. Oh, for Alan. Right. I need another wind rider. Let's go. This looks like it's just going to drop us off rather than blow someone up. Oh, we're heading out to the ship. I think. No. He's on that boat. He's on that boat. That one. In the bottom of this one. So we're going to have to make our way down to the bottom and kill him. Are we ready? Are we ready? Well, so far, there's no one else here. They all abandoned them. Oh, we're going to kill Squawky as well. Sorry, Squawky. Oh, what happened then? <laughs> oh, what happened to us? Don't know. <laughs> we just got knocked out. Uh, let's get up there. It sounds like it's all over. It looks like it's all over too. The blood sails at end. Booty Bay pendant. Or a head item. Plate head. That's better than what we've got. And a star of strangles home. We don't need that. But we're definitely putting the hat on. Let's see how we look with a proper helmet on now. You know what? It sort of suits us. It sort of suits us. Right. We have got nothing left here, so we are going to head to Stormwind. We're going to go and report, um, do the same as Homecoming. And then we're going to go and we'll go, we'll go to the little board and see where it wants us to go. We'll see that. So, hearth back. We haven't used this that much, have we? Look. Like little leaves. And we're gone. So in Stormwind, we need to go all the way down the back there in the Dwarven District. So we're going to head down that way. I don't think we, we haven't been, have we been, oh, we, we've only been to that part of the Dwarven District. We haven't done it all yet. So let's head down there. And I realised what these blue circles are. They're PvP things, aren't they? So if someone's, if the Horde are here, then that's where, that's where the guards can see. I think, I think. But we're going to head across. We're going to go to the, what, the, to the Dwarven District. Not actually sure where we're going here. There's a quest 
there. Ariel Snap. Just let's see what that one says. And what they want. Good day to you. Lights, camera, Very action. Good. Collect an iron box and a rustle bell from locations within the capital and No, do you know what? We're not gonna do that just yet. I think that just looks like a little capital quest that we it's just not I mean it's not part of the story, is it? I'd imagine. Oh look at these turtles. Audrey Bernhep. Same as homecoming. Fourteen gold. Alright, that'll do for now. That'll do for now. We have got another quest from here though. Don't know when we got that, but we do. Right, there was I seen a guard somewhere. Just then. There he is, there he is. Right. On our little board. Where do we want to go? Mount Hyle, stop the fire lord, fight the legion, onward to adventure. The bronze dragonflies magics are powerful and allow us to see Azeroth how we choose to explore the world and rise to the challenge in your just like um that like Chromie, she was like the caverns of time person, wasn't she? I think. Broken sure, the Burning Legion has returned to Azeroth. Deathwing's minions are attempted to bring the Fire Lord's power to bear on Azeroth. Speak with the Cenarian a missionary. Right, this isn't what we want. This isn't what we want. Is, does he give us the same options? Battle for Azeroth? No. Go with honor, friend. Okay, so. Where are we going to go? So we've done Stranglethorn Vale, right? Done Stranglethorn Vale. Where do we want to go to next? We are level 30, so we need a level 30-ish zone. They're all 15 to 30. It's Twilight Highlands? It's a long way away. Blasted Lands is 15 to 30. Everything down here, Deadwind Pass is even 10 to 30. Okay, so I'm slightly confused here. Because this is obviously the highest I've been in since it's all started. But the only place that I can see that we can go to right now is the Twilight Highlands. So do we need to go and do another place? Do we need to go and do another place? We might have to go to the notice board and see what they, see what we're going to do then. Oh, Hyle. Chromie's call. Bronze Dragonflight Magic is powerful. Right. Onward to the onward to adventure. Chrome is seeking a veteran adventures to embark on expeditions through time and space. This is your opportunity to experience the legendary adventures of the past today. Speak with Chrome in a Stormwind Embassy for more information. Should we do that? I don't know. I was kind of hoping to just work our way through, but hang on. Do you know what I'm thinking? Where it is? They're all 10 to 30 as well. And that one, Draenor. What about Draenor? Right, that goes up to 40. Shadowlands. Goes up to 53. I don't think I've actually done Shadowlands yet. It's sure I haven't. And then on Azeroth, we've got the Broken Isles, which is 45. Zandala. Ultras. Northrend. Right, we are going to have to do something on here, right? Let's go and do... This one. Speak to Chromie. Where is she? Adventurers wanted Chromie, so she's back out this way. It's a little bit more confusing nowadays, isn't it? It used to just be like a linear path right through. Not anymore. Not anymore. I kind of feel like there's going to be loads that you're not going to see nowadays because of the way it goes. Adventurers wanted recommended select a timeline. I have a question about time war and campaigns. Right, Battle for Azeroth, Draenor. Wilds of Pandaria. Right, shall we do? Let's do the portal to Outland. Dormant since the end of the second war, the dark portal to Outland has opened once again. A demonic army gathers in force to the other side, and bold heroes are needed to strike them down. Journey to a shattered world and stop the Burning Legion from invading Azeroth. Okay, that's where we're going to go. Uh, now what? Now what? <laughs> oh, Burning Crusade. Go through the Dark Portal in Blasted Lands. Okay. Oh, we've got a long trek. A long trek to Blasted Lands. Is there... Is there anywhere to... Uh, is there a way to get there quicker? Oh, Okay, so we speak to her if we want to go back to our 
for the timeline. So where do we come in? We come in this side. We've got to make it to the blaster lands then. So we're going to go somewhere there, right? So what we've got to do is we've got to go to Darkshire and go through Deadwind Pass down that way, I guess. So we're going to go on a little bit of a journey today and see where we end up. I mean, Burning Crusade was somewhere that I was very familiar with back in the day. Spent, that was the only expansion that I, comp I played, like, completely. And... I, <sighs> Karazhan. Used to love Karazhan. And then there was, what, Magtheridon's Lair, Gruel's... Magtheridon and Gruel's Lair, I think. And then we ended up in Serpent's... Bang Cavern. Tempest Keep. Can't remember. Mount Hyle and the Black Temple. I'm lost. I'm lost. Where are we? That way. We didn't do a lot of the Black Temple. We done quite a bit of Mount Hyle. That was it was good at first, but then it just it got so hectic, didn't it? It was mad. So our timeline, we are going. So I know for now, next time we get another character, we can go straight from level 10 and we can go and do one of the things. One of them timelines. So we want to go to Darkshire. Yeah. And then we're going to go through Deadwind Pass and work our way down to the Blasterlands, the Dark Pool. Okay, so we have landed and we are going to head through to... Well, we're going to go and try and make it to the Dark Pool. We'll start that event off and then... That'll probably be where we end up for the day. It might be a little bit, a little bit shorter. Not a lot, but a little bit. Depends on how much traveling we've had to do and cut out. But we're going to leave this part in because I remember the first time I came to Deadwind Pass, right? And it felt so, so creepy. Felt creepy. We've discovered Deadwind Pass. We've got spiders up there. Look at it, dropping down. And we've got ghosts here. But the first time I ever came through Deadwind Pass, I'm pretty sure there was nothing at all here. Nothing. There might have been a dragon or something flying around. I can't remember. It was so long ago. And then they eventually put Karazhan there. Right down at bottom end. But it was just... Look, there's the people hanging up in the trees. People hanging up. Right. Let's get through. We haven't got far to go. But it looks like Karazhan is still down at the bottom. There's a pet down there as well. I don't know whether it's a pet or a pet trainer. Oh, Sleeping Gorge we're going into. I thought this was Swamp of Sorrows. It is. Well, that Sleeping Gorge is just that part of where we were. So, Swamp of Sorrows, we are going to head through. I remember running into a horde base in the middle of this place as well. But I think in the early days as well, there wasn't really a lot in Swamp of Sorrows. It was a bit of a tough area, and then you went down into the next zone below, and it got kind of hard. It did. When you were getting all up towards, like, the level 60 areas, it, it got tough. So should we go and get that flight master while we're here? Look, that's the horde, people. Nearly ran into it. Because, you know, we're going to skip the flight point for now. Because we're going to go down towards the dark portal anyway. And I can't see us coming up here to do any quests anyway, unless... I mean, we've already done Law Master, so we don't need to do all that. There's probably some further expansions where I might need to do the quests in. Probably, well, there definitely is. There's at least, I say there's at least two expansions that I haven't touched quests in. But let's see. This is the way. It's a horrible area, this one, though. All the crocodiles and everything in the water were not nasty. All in Hero of the Horde. So now we are heading into the Blasted Lands. Now the Dark Portal is all the way down there. Hey, there's someone here to talk to. Who's that? Keeper of Time. Need help? I don't want to see the Blasted Lands before the invasion. I don't want to. <laughs> it's, we're heading down anyway. Let's go. Let's go. This will only take us a minute to get there. Ugh. This place is so red. That's like a horde building, isn't it? I don't know whether it is or not. I don't think it is. Could be. We must be nearly there. The lightning and everything. This is a proper end of days kind of zone, this one. Look. The snickering, snickerfang hyena. 
Guys, we still haven't seen the dark portal just yet. I think it's down in that little crater over there. What level are these? They're 35, so they're the same-ish level as us. So we might get a little bit of aggro from some stuff. Size are you? Oh, a fell hound has just knocked us off our spider. And we've actually got to use our... What are you doing? Draining me life. What are we doing that? <laughs> Big guy's going to come back if we don't hurry up. Hey, there's the dark portal. There is the dark portal. And we've discovered it as well. Hey, right, we're going to go down. There must be someone to talk to here. And we're going to get the quest to go through it. I remember. Like, when... Burning Crusade was getting ready to come out and we were all like we were, people were just coming to look at it. Well, right. Kill Jarek Toming and Shandana and go the only reason you see me standing aside horde soldiers is because of our duty outweighs our enmity. However, slightly we have been charged with the protecting the dark portal from unauthorized travel with the recent cataclysm. We're particularly susceptible to an attack. We've already heard reports of black dragons in the area with many men with my men focused on their duty. We need someone to keep the area of demons in check. Around the port and we'll find three demon lieutenants. Slay them. Right, that's not what we're after. We are just after the dark portal. What's that? The Mirren's booster pack? We've got no idea what this is. But we're collecting it. Oh, no, we're not. What happened then? So should we collect it? Well, they don't want us to come through, do they? Should we just go through the dark portal? Yes, so. Go through the dark portal, discover the stair of destiny. Right. That is a portal back to Stormwind. Have we got a quest here to do anything? Doesn't actually look like. Oh, there's the quest there. Commander Doran. Need help? Commander Doran at the dark portal wants you to bring Doran's report to Amish Wildhammer. Be careful. Where is Amish Wildhammer is down this way? A long time since I've been here. Arrival in Outland. Durand's report. Take a flight to Honor Old and deliver Durand's report to Marshal Islador. Send me to Honor Old. Honor. Honor. Honor Hold. <laughs> right, so we are flying over. All the way over there, all the way over there. Size of some of these demons trying to get through the dark portal, and all our soldiers are fighting for their lives to stop them getting through. Oh, I just got chills. It is a bit cold today, though. We've had like a bit of a heat wave here, and today it's just pissing down and gone quite cold. It says 13 degrees. 13. So it is a bit chilly. Right, where are we going? We're nowhere near there yet. This is bad, and this is as bad as the place we just left. This is home we just left, isn't it? But look at that, we've got a few moons in the sky. I don't know what that big yellow trail is. Another, I don't know whether that's the sun. But we've got at least three moons, a sun. And we're flying our little griffin over to one a hold. On a hold. <laughs> Some words that I say them right, they just don't sound right. And they probably don't sound right to you either. All right, there's the guy we got to speak to next to the stable master, Marshal Is Isildur. We got Durin's report for you. Go with honor, friend. He wants us to report to Force Commander Danith Solbane in on a hold, and he's going to be in the capital in the tower. Is that like all the dead people, like um, like a grave stone thingy, like a memo memorial stone? Right, he's upstairs. Oh, we are going to go up. Not if he gets stuck on the weapon rack. Kind of feel like at our level, we shouldn't be here. <laughs> Remember when we were level 60 and it was quite easy because everything starts at level 58. But then when you leveled alts, you were coming in at level 58 and it was it was a bit rougher. Strong guard will stand proud Force Commander Danith. More. Complete. The Legion part. Reborn. Speak with Sergeant Ultimus at the East Supply Caravan just outside on the road to the east. Fight well, friend. 
Know your enemy speaks to Lieutenant Amandi at the on a, the old guard tower just west of Honor Road. And advance in the campaign. Force Commander Danis Tolvain has asked you to speak with Advanced Scout Chadwick inside the cha shattered halls in Hel of Hellfire Citadel. Okay, so I think that that is going to be a good place for us to finish off. We are going to get started with Outland in the next episode. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. Really does mean a lot. Hope you are enjoying the series so far. If you're new to the channel, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episodes, hit the thumbs up, drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think. I want to say a massive thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. And we will see you in the next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.